Praise the Lord. Good morning, saints. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. Praise God. Praise God. Good morning, friends. Good morning. How's everyone doing on this morning? We serve a mighty God. <clears throat> we serve a mighty God. Praise God. Praise God. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to this morning press session, friends. Just 15 minutes. Amen. 15 minutes. Glory to God. Good morning. How are all you wonderful people doing? Listen, you who are just logging in, do me a favor and share this broadcast with your friends and followers. Good morning. We serve a mighty God. Amen. Got to bless you guys. Got to join my faith with you. Amen. Stand on the word of God that no weapon, no weapon form against you is going to prosper. Amen. And every tongue that rise up against you in judgment, it's going to be condemned in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Thank you for some of you. Who, amen. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you too, Sonia. Amen. <laughs> this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Praise God. So for some of you who are just joining, just go on ahead and share this broadcast with your friends. If you're on an Android device, swipe up and share it. If you're on a... Good morning. Good morning, Kisa. God bless you. If you're on an iPhone, swipe to the right and share this broadcast with your friends. Just want to read a few scriptures. And after we read a few scriptures, we're going to jump right into prayer. Good morning. Mindy, God bless you, dear sister. Hadn't forgotten about you. Amen. We serve a good God. I said we serve a good God. Glory, glory, glory. <laughs> well, thank you. Praise God. It's the Holy Spirit at work among his people. You know, Jesus said, wherever two or three of you come together in my name, Jesus said, I'm going to be in the midst. He promised to be there. Amen. He is alive. He is alive. We still have some more people who just jumped on here. Make sure I share this broadcast with your friends. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Good morning. Amen. All the way from Tennessee. God bless you there, sister. Amen. Please, sister, share this broadcast with your friends. You got a lot of followers there. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Listen. This is what I want to want to just share real fast, and then we're going to praise down on the Word of God that no weapon, no weapon that's formed against you shall be able to prosper. You know, the Apostle Paul talks about it in Ephesians chapter 6, but let me pray to you real fast, then we jump into the Word and pray again. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we go into your Word on this morning, speak to your people, minister to them strengthen them, touch them, encourage them. You know exactly what they need to hear from the Holy Spirit this morning. God, send a tailor-made, send a tailor-made word for this specific situation that they're dealing with, God. Bring clarity, God. Remove the clouds of darkness. Remove the clouds of doubt. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Someone say a good amen right there. Praise God. So listen, in Ephesians chapter 6, the apostle Paul says something real powerful. He said, look, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Glory to God, I feel the Holy Ghost. He says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand. So in order to stand against the wiles, the strategies, the schemes, and the attack of Satan, guess what, friends? We have to have on the whole armor of God. <clears throat> the apostle Paul says, your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace, your loins girt about with truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, the word of God, which is the sword of the spirit. And then he tells you where these weapons are going to be used. Verse 18 of Ephesians 6, he said, praying all Always. So that's where the battle takes place. It takes place in prayer. He says, praying always with all prayer and supplication 
in the spirit, in the Holy Ghost. That's where the victory is won. It's won in prayer. Remember Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane. The Bible says his sweat became as great drops of blood. Are you listening to me? His sweat became as blood. And that's where the victory was won. And he was able to go to the cross. He was able to face his, his the people who were killing him. Are you listening to me? But in the end, the Bible says, on the third day, God raised him from the dead. My Karababusha. And Jesus said, all power, not some, all power has been given unto me in heaven and on earth. Praise God. So prayer is powerful. Now watch this. Now prayer, prayer of itself is not powerful, but the God that we are sending our prayers to, he is the one who is powerful because if he don't answer, nothing's going to happen. Now watch this. Psalms chapter 124, verse 6, 7, and 8. Listen to what it says. Blessed, this word is for someone this morning. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as a prey to dare to their teeth. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. This, our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken this morning. No matter what the devil have planned against your life, against your family, against your marriage, against your business, against your ministry, against your finances, against your health. The word of the Lord for you this morning is the snare is broken broken and we I escape our help is in the name of the Lord let me read something else here Psalms 121 David said I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help my help comes from the Lord which made the heavens and the earth guess what friends he will not suffer your foot to be moved he that keepeth thee doesn't slumber nor sleep he says, Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. That word keeper means protector. That means he's your seal. He, listen to me. He has your back. He has your best interests at heart. And no weapon that's formed against you is going to be able to prosper. And every demonic tongue that rises against you in judgment, we condemn it. And we are going to condemn it and pull down every stronghold, every assignment against your life. We're going to pull it down in a few minutes. So he says, the Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. The sun shall not smite thee by day. My God, nor the moon by night. I love verse 7 and 8. The Lord shall preserve thee. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. <clears throat> my God, my God, the Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth, even forevermore. Let me read verse seven and eight again. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth, even forevermore. Come on, somebody. Let's go to God in prayer. We serve a mighty God. We serve a prayer answering God. We serve a God that sits high and he looks low. The apostle Peter says the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open under their prayer. The Bible says whatever we bind on earth should be bound in heaven. Jesus said in Luke chapter 11, verse 21 and 22, Jesus said, when a strong man arm." God's his palace. His goods are in peace. That's the devil. Jesus said, but when a stronger, talking about himself, but when a stronger than he shall come on him, he overtakes him, my God. He overtakes him. Not only that, he, he, he defeats him. He conquers him. He overcomes him. And he taketh from him all the armor wherein he trusted. And then he can plunder his house. We are about to plunder his house this morning. I said, we are about to plunder the enemy's house. He comes 
comes to steal, to kill and destroy. But Jesus said, I've come that you can have life and have it more abundantly. Right now, come on, join your faith with me. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I cover you from every attack of the devil. I cover you. I cover your husband. I cover your marriage. I cover your children that's going into these high schools. My God, I pray divine protection over them right now. I declare over your life that no weapon, that no weapon, that no weapon that's formed against you, it won't prosper. Jesus, he told us the weapon will be, will be formed, but he made us a solid promise that it will not prosper in the name of Jesus. The Bible declares in Luke chapter 10, verse 19, Jesus said, behold, I've given unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, my God, and over all the power of the enemy and absolutely nothing should by any means hurt you. We cancel every assignment, every demonic assignment against your life. We cancel it right now. We command it to be null and void. We bind it. We render it powerless and ineffective in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God declares to us this morning in Psalms 124, the snare is broken. The snare is broken. Every demonic trap right now in the name of Jesus, we break it. We destroy it in the Holy Ghost. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27, in that day his yoke should be lifted his burden should be lifted from off your shoulder and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing Father God right now release a mighty anointing of the Holy Ghost. Break down every attack. Break down every stronghold of the devil right now. We pull it down. We defeat the plans of the devil. We, Satan we declare to you that the word of God says upon this rock I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it I cover you in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ I cover your job I cover your career I cover your God given vision I cover your future I cover your ministry right now in the name of Jesus right now in the name of Jesus I command you to be blessed I command everything you put your hands to to prosper. I command that every weapon, every fiery dart that Satan fires against you, we lift up the shield of faith and we quench every fiery dart of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. As you go forward today, we command you to be prosperous. We command you to be successful. We command you to be the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. We command you to increase from the east, the west, the north, the south, out right now. I pray divine protection over your life. Divine protection. Divine protection. Divine protection. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 7, the Bible says the enemy will come against you one way but they will flee seven different ways. My God, I give you praise God for protecting your people, for causing the enemy to flee. The Bible says in James chapter 4 verse 7, the Bible says so Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he shall flee from you. Satan, we command you to flee right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We resist you. You can't wipe us out. You can't take us out. You can't cut us off because the Bible says in Psalm chapter 91, the Bible says with long life will he satisfy us and show us his salvation, his deliverance, his breakthrough. God is on your side. I said, God is on your side. David said, yea, though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because God is with me. And we declare this morning, we declare over your Thursday that no weapon, that no weapon, that no weapon formed against you is going to prosper. It's not going to prosper because God says, Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. First John chapter 5 verse 4 says, This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. The Bible says in Romans 8, If God be for you, who can be against you? The apostle Paul said in Romans 8 31, What shall we say to these things? Friends, if God be for you, who can be against you? The devil and all the hell can come against you. But if God is on your side, what the devil 
devil plans is not going to work. What the devil plan is not going to come to pass. What the devil plan is not going to prosper. He tried to kill the baby Jesus. He tried to kill the baby Moses. But the weapon formed did not prosper. God fulfilled his plan in Christ. God fulfilled his plan in Moses. And therefore, God is going to fulfill his plan in your life and in the lives of your children. Be blessed this morning, friends. I cover you in the blood of Jesus. I cover you in the blood of Jesus. I cancel every sickness. I bind the spirit of infirmity. I curse the demon of cancer. I curse the demon of cancer. You shall live and not die to declare the works of God. I rebuke arthritis. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I rebuke, I rebuke kidney disease. I rebuke liver disease. I rebuke heart disease. I rebuke high blood pressure, low blood pressure. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Sugar diabetes, I command it to vanish from out of your body in the name of Jesus. Glaucoma in the eyes, deafness in the air, paralysis in the legs. I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. No weapon does form against you, friend. It's going to prosper. And every demonic tongue that rises up against you in judgment, we condemn it right now. You are more than a conqueror. I said, you are more than a conqueror. You are going to make it. God is on your side. The prophetic word, <coughs> excuse me, the prophetic word that God declared over your life is going to come to pass. The promises of God in him are yes and amen. Be blessed this morning. Prosper today. Be successful today. Be an overcomer today. Be the head and not the tail today. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bless your day. I said, I bless your day. I bless your morning. I bless your lunch. I bless your evening. I bless your night. My God, I cover you from head to toe in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, we give you praise. All of these things this morning, we join our faith together and and all these things we ask, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And you said in your word that whatever we ask, whatever we ask, in the name of Jesus, it shall be done for them by my Father which is in heaven. Friends, I'll be back on you tonight, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Invite your friends to be a part. Invite your family to be a part. And you make sure be a part. We're looking forward to being with you guys. That's 7 p.m. tonight. That's Central Standard Time. That's uh, Dallas, Texas time. Amen. We love you guys. We appreciate you guys. Stay on fire. And remember today that no weapon that's formed against you is going to prosper. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. Come on, somebody say it. No weapon. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon. And listen, I feel this. And for some of you who have been believing God for a better job, for some of you who are out of a job and believe in God for a job, I believe God is opening doors for you. I believe he's making a way where there seems to be no way. God's about to surprise you. He's about to shock you. But more than anything, be prosperous today. Be blessed today. Be blessed today in the name of Jesus. God bless you guys. Looking forward to being on here with you guys tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time and again tomorrow morning to pray with you. God bless you guys. The devil, he can't defeat you. God is on your side. God is on your side. God has your back. God bless you guys. See you later. Love you. Bye-bye.